there again, this is Dave Allen for Mac Tony Questions and what I'd like to do now is have another look at Hype from Tumult. And one of the ways to learn how to do these things is to actually sort of have a look at the gallery and maybe choose something from the gallery that you'd like to see if you can do in yourself within the application. And for that learning process I thought I might have a go at making one of these. Now what we've got here is we've got a banner, it's got a drop shadow, it's got four images in it plus a few bits that uh, slide over the top to do transition effects and it's got a couple of bits of text boxes and images that uh, pop up in the various places so I think this could be quite interesting to do something like this and maybe have it with a photographer in mind so if you're a photographer and you wanted to do a showing of uh, four of your photographs then doing something like this could be quite good and you could have the various transitions done like this through with hype and all fitting on a HTML5 page. So to get started with this process of making something that's a little bit similar along the same lines I've got four photographs that I've taken I've made some adjustments to them to get them where I like them and what I have to do now is I have to do a bit of chopping up of these photos into bits to make them do the transitions that I want. I shall have to have one of them that is going to be in three sections horizontally there is another one that is split up about five ways across the vertically and then another one that is split up vertically and I think there must be around about ten different uh, parts to it so that's going to take a little while to do. Pixelmate is an excellent application for doing this sort of work and uh, hopefully it shouldn't take me too long to get these photos ready uh, for using within Hype. So this first photograph, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to split it up into three sections and the best way to do that is to use the guidelines which you drag down from the rulers and it's only going to be approximate but I think that if I have them so we have the first line is around about 102 pixels down and the next one should be about uh, 204 pixels down and that gives me approximately three sections of image to work with so there's our select tool there, my rectangular select tool and I'm going to take this selection first. I've made sure of course first of all that I've got this snapping to the guide so now that I know that I'm going to get exactly the right amount of uh, selection with this. So I have that selected now to command and copy to copy it and then go to file new click OK now I've just got to do command and V to paste in and that's the first one of my slices. So what I'm going to do first of all now is just to give this a name I'm going to export it out to .png file and export that out. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do another slice this time I'm going to take the middle snapping as it goes there command copy command N for command new press enter command V to paste it in so there's my middle section there and again I just need to export that out to a .png file click on next change name of it, this one's going to be castle02 click on export so I shall do that, have all my pictures split up into the sections that I need them split up into and I shall then put them into Hype. There's going to be some more stuff coming from Mac 20 Questions so why don't you go and subscribe. In fact if you click on that like button that also helps get the videos noticed in uh, YouTube so if you could do that for me, I'd appreciate it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye for now. Talk to you again soon.